so Thursday the 21st of July and uh, it's off to do the uh, the 100 miler around the lanes of Somerset and Wiltshire and there's the trusty steed just waiting to go and when Rob turns up we'll make a move this is a YouTube best profile YouTube. <laughs> good morning <laughs> good morning nice to see you <laughs> nice to see you Frank yeah yeah <sighs> turn up kids the turn up kids hopefully <laughs> <laughs> Well, we see. I put pannier on, I don't know why. Oh, I actually took mine off. I went the other way around. Mm. I thought I'd try and shed some weight. Well, it's just in case Hazel wants any shopping doing on the way back. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, the good news is it's sunny. <clears throat> so far, anyway. The bad news is Rob's got a puncture. Let's hope it's the uh, first and last of the day. So that wheel, which is always the worst one. Yeah. But I can witness the fact that Rob is a master puncture repairer, so I'm sure this would be an absolute doddle. Right. Puncture repaired? Complete. <laughs> We're ready to roll! Hi there. We're sort of halfway, two thirds of the way to Bradford to uh, meet Martin by the canal, and uh, at the moment it's, uh, it's still sunny. So let's hope it uh, continues that way. And here we are at the uh, Dundas Equiduct. I was just going to. Uh, Stop and wash his hands. Oh, I have to say, it's looking absolutely splendid today. All good. And here's Martin, hoving into view. There's some twit in the car wants to get by. Hey, up. Good yeah. morning. How are you? Not too bad. Good. Punctures already. Yeah, marvellous. <laughs> well, all that rain, all this flint That's... washed onto the... I, I had one so the there will day. be more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had one the other day. I, I was carrying... I, I went back to see my old boss uh, just for a drink over at Mr. Norton and uh, she gave me some beers. As you do, it's rather nice. And I've got a pressure punch on the way back, so my saddlebag was loaded too much. Oh. Well, there we go. Yeah. Mm. Um, oh. Right, so we're now at um, Bradford on Avon at the place called the What's to Eat at the Locking Calf. Yeah. Fun with Dick and Jane since 1900. Oh no, 1990. Um, we're tootling along the Kennet and Avon Canal. All very nice. It's not going to be a big canal. I think I can hear the other two behind me. Yeah. <laughs> You know these could break a person's arm. Yeah, maybe the king's eat them. En route to the uh, to the Cayenne Locks. behind. That's Rob right up ahead. 
side is Martin. That's the Cayenne Locks. That's all right. Yeah. And the boats go in two by two. Yeah. I had a scare last night. Severe, severe. Sorry, I'm just taking a bit of video. So carry on talking. Um, yeah, we, Lawrence had his. He does this chess evening. Uh, this chess club with his school. Yeah. And uh, his. Uh, and they had a teachers. They had a parents versus pupils chess competition which was um, okay um, and anyway um, I, I played this I mean they're, they're what they're sort of eight nine year olds basically uh-huh you see the East Coast the there's this one young youngster who's Romanian and they tend to take their chess very seriously and um, I, I honestly never played yeah, England. Like it, yeah. it was scary. Yeah. I beat it, but it was really good. I was losing at one point. Yeah, yeah, I used to imagine it's like losing to a nine-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> no, it can't happen. Yeah. <laughs> this is the tea stop. The tea stop. Just over there yeah. is where we're um, going to be tootling off to, towards uh, devices, and then. So we're, in a moment we're just over here, having our tea, and then through devices, coat, and uh, off down here. And uh, it's a lovely sunny day, we've been really lucky so far. Well, we're um, coming down the Avon Valley, and uh, it's very nice, and we're just in the very nice... Um, village of East Chisenbury. There's a couple of barrels up on that lawn over there. Also a couple of butterflies here. And um, the boys have got hungry so we're going into the Red Lion to have something to eat. There are the bikes. And this is the pub. Right, how's it going then, boys? Are we having fun? Yes, because we're not on the bikes. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we had about two. All very nice, I'm going to move here. So we just came, come through Amesbury and No thanks mate, we're just on our way to Woodford or the Woodsfords on Route 45. Nice to supposed to go to Heal Garden but we haven't got time for that unfortunately. And there are these two guys scoffing on, what are you scoffing on chaps? Geo bars. Geo bars. Mm -hmm. They sound like something at the 22nd century or something. <laughs> and uh, dare I say it, it still hasn't rained. Mm. What's the time? Three just gone, just gone three o'clock. I don't know if you can see this, but we're spot on 50 miles, which is halfway, and we're just approaching the Woodfords. And the time is 
325. It's a bit behind schedule, really. Hey, who cares? It's still a nice day. The pub we would have gone in is just uh, coming up. But we went into that slightly upmarket one instead. So we're going to be, um, we're not going through Salisbury today. Um, we're going to cut the corner off um, and save ourselves a couple of miles, but that should still give us a hundred miler. Here we go, up a Woodford. Please try carefully. There indeed is the pub that Andy and I went to last time, Bridge Inn. Here's Martin, brushing off the flies. Here's the river. And here's Rob. Black, Rob and the black pickers. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and on we go on a route 45. So we've just come up Big Hill, cutting off the corner to cut off Salisbury. And uh, there's a very good view here. If you look hard, you can see Old Sarum, where the original cathedral was. And if you look through yonder, you can see the current cathedral. How tall is Salisbury Cathedral? Sorry? How tall is Salisbury Cathedral? 309 feet? 309, I think. Yeah, we reckon it's 309 feet. Yeah. We're now well and truly into the Wiley Valley, coming up to Great Wishford. And Rob's doing the hard work at the front there. I'm on Martin's wheel having a nice rest. And we're still on Strands Route 24, as the sign says. as we come down here, there's a pub on the corner. He says, riding one-handed. And there indeed is a pub. Royal Oak Free House. And they've got irises. In that tub. This time of year. Right, I'll take my turn to the front. And this is us just coming into the ginger piggery. Having made very good time coming down that last bit. The trough. That's what we need, the trough. Sniff, sniff. Hang your mind up, they're closing. Oh, sorry, okay. The, the um... Mystery indecisive. Yeah, ginger cake, please. Yeah, he'll have some of that. <laughs> Frank? Coffee and walnut cake, please. Yeah. And we're only just in time. Well done, Chaps. We seem to uh, make that last bit a lot more quickly than I thought we were. Yes, because we knew we needed to get here. <laughs> yes. Because uh, we were desperate. A certain incentive. Yeah, that's the fastest I've ridden for a long time. Getting on for race speed, <laughs> No, it's the old wheel bender, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. yeah. Right, so this is us just uh, leaving the ginger piggery. Time is half past five. We're just coming through Warminster now. There's a peloton over my head. A 
least I hope they're over my head. Evidently it's raining over Bath at this moment, so just fingers crossed we don't uh, So far, so good. Coming up to the nags head. Right, the sign to Upton Scudamore. So we've just come across the um, whatever this horrible busy road is. The A something. Martin's putting his leggings on his arms. Getting into his S&M gear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we'd better beat a, beat a hasty retreat, Rob. Yeah. I, I've heard about these yeah. funny yeah, country pursuits. Chester. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at least you're not Italian. <laughs> the bunga bunga party. <laughs> right. That must be Gilton Marsh down there. Um, no? It's um, up to Scudamore first. And Dilton Marsh is just past there. Yeah. We've been joined by a couple of uh, fellow cyclists. Slayed on his dad's bike. Yeah, a lot easier. Yeah. Now. Yeah, they, yeah, they do. Uh, stopping. Stopping. Yeah. Cheers, bro. And off they go. Uh, right. Thank you for that. Actually, and that's on the side as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chapman Stone. Yeah, this, this is the way I used to cycle back from Warminster after the train. Martin cycling off into the distance. You'll be working soon. <laughs> you won't have time for any of these jaunts. <laughs> well, we've just stopped outside the new inn. Westwood. We're very good boys. Rob's having his geo bar. See us on the map. We're just uh, we're just here, and then we trundle back down to Haven Cliff, and then back along the uh, very smooth towpath. Miles on the clock. Right, well, this is all. Uh, where is everybody? Very quiet, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Gonna get my clean bike, lucky again. Yeah. So we're back at. Uh, we're at Avoncliff. The time is half past seven. Coming back along the tow path. You know, a few showers of rain and the place is like a swimming pool. Something should be done. On the home leg now anyway. Back in about half an hour I guess. It's assuming we don't fall in the canal. Oh, all these bloody puddles. Look at them. This is all part of the National Cycle Network. Splish, splash. Horrible. And this is the end of the ride for me. And most importantly, Rob is fishing out my half sandwich. See what he does? He makes an old pensioner carry his <laughs> food for him. <laughs> <laughs> but my motto is never give a sucker an even break. <laughs> Thank you. Right, so here we are back at Nelson House. Enough said.